Hey, hello everybody, it's me Cyber Soldier, and welcome back to another malware review aka malware demonstration. In today's video we're gonna take a look at the malware called microphone.exe created by Catnull. Apparently this malware can corrupt the system files only if the user make a wrong decision. This malware was meant to be reviewed by this Russian YouTuber and eventually he didn't check this malware so I guess it's my turn. The whole project was built in C Sharp programming language under the net framework 4.0. Well, and that would be it from all information I've got. Just quick interruption, if you found my content interesting and you don't want to miss future videos please consider subscribe to my channel i spent a lot of hours making these videos thank you very much all right guys welcome back to another malware review don't get confused by this just ignore the activate windows shit this windows is not activated of course because it is a virtual machine it would be pretty weird if i bought a license for a virtual machine so yeah just ignore that stuff over there <laughs> it's not important as long as this operating system works nothing really matters all right so let's get into the malware. Um, we got a readme file for it. So let's look into the readme file for a while. All right, so this is his first program. There's no much information about it. So we're gonna close this so we can get rid of the readme file because it's not important anymore. All right, and don't get confused by the bin extension. It's actually an exe file, but he removed the exe file extension because of the antivirus. Oh my God, is this a sonic.exe? Looks pretty scary. All right, so what do, we, what do we got here? The size of this malware is pretty large. I think it's because of the resources. This malware probably contains a lot of resources, so that's why it is so large. It makes sense, of course. All right, so what else we got here? Apparently, this is the version 6666. That's very scary. I think I'm gonna shit my pants. Get out! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Pretty original. Yeah, 666. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Product name. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Move icons at properties. I don't know the lore behind this. What the hell? That's weird. I think he doesn't know how copyright system works, but whatever. <laughs> All right, that's everything from the description. There's nothing else here. Nothing interesting. You know what, guys? You know what? I will not talk a lot. Let's get into the malware. Let's actually launch it and see what will happen. Let's go. I'm not afraid anymore. What I know, the, the malware contains pretty loud stuff, so I decided to leave my volume to 1% only. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I've got some cursed files with, oh my god, with, what the hell? Okay, this is one of the cool hidden Windows feature. And no, guys, this is not the master good record. It's not over yet. <laughs> I don't know what this really does. I don't know a lot about this feature. So if you know what this feature is for, please tell me in the comments because I don't fucking know. And guys, by the way, my, my laptop is pretty loud. And I'm so sorry about that. So if you're gonna hear some background noise, forgive me, all right? I just couldn't figure it out. I tried my best. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. All right, my background got changed what the hell is this a demon or some shit all right now i can hear the music and it's only on on it's only on one percent and it's already loud as fuck all right and what i know this guy was inspired by my tutorial about the noise cape i know that because i dig into the source code a little bit so i know <laughs> what he have done So now, what is actually happening to my computer? Let's actually try to access some of my applications. For example, the registry editor. Okay, let's launch the registry editor. And oh my God, it says something in Russian. I don't know if this is a Russian language. I'm so sorry if I if it's not Russian. I don't know, I'm not sure. Let's say it's an Eastern European language. And yeah, basically registry editor ha has been disabled. And this is a trick that have been done by image file execution option, which can block basically any EXE application on Windows. So yeah. The only one application which we can execute is the Explorer, of course, because without the Explorer, we couldn't see anything, if you know how Explorer works on Windows. Wait, what the hell? Fire 7 zip file manager has a different icon. So all applications have been disabled. The calculator will not work. Photos will not work. All right, guys, now I will show you something really interesting, which I don't know how this guy even like made it. But if you try to, for example, click on this local disk C, there's gonna be restrictions. This operation has been canceled. All right, task manager. <laughs> 
I don't know, whatever. This operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. I know that this was done in a registry, but I don't really know how. This is a really cool feature. I, I cannot even like go into my share folder. Like, no, there is no way. There is actually no escape. So any uh, directory is inaccessible. Even my desktop, which is pretty weird. I'm already on desktop, but it's inaccessible through the Explorer. So yeah, that's really cool. Uh, and yeah, have you even yeah, noticed why? that my cursor have changed to um um no it's 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 definitely not what you think it's actually um it's some sort of toy <laughs> let's say all right I, I cannot say it on youtube but this actually is so yeah it's it's not a big deal guys don't don't sue me <laughs> please all right so everything is blocked and that's pretty much it guys that's actually pretty much it there's nothing else to do all right guys so this will just continue forever it will never stop all right guys so let's see what will happen after the restart here's the question will it even let me restart my computer seems that it will not let me do it so i guess i have to force restart it i think that's a pretty much it from this malware there's nothing else at least what i have seen in the source code this is pretty much it so now i'm wondering how many antiviruses can detect this malware uh did it even like revert the the changes oh yeah oh yeah fortunately we are back all right i'm not interested thank you thank you all right guys we are back so now I wonder how many antiviruses will de detect this malware. We're gonna try this on virus total, of course. Yeah, guys, it's in a Czech language because I'm guess what, guys, guess what? I'm from Czech Republic. Yeah, 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 guys. It's it's obvious. I would like to reanalyze it once again. Here's the fun thing. Once you upload a malware on virus total, after a couple of days, most antiviruses will just mark it as a malware and they will be more aware of that file. That's how the virus total works. It actually helps other antiviruses to get even better. Okay, timeout. What? What do you mean timeout? I want to know what Microsoft thinks about this file. Okay, let's reanalyze it. Not I'm not a robot. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not a robot. Do I look like a robot? No. Do I sound like a robot? What is this? I don't even know what is this. All right. It doesn't. It doesn't trust me. Are you kidding me? There was one piece of the motorcycle. God damn it. Okay. Malware bytes is a trash. Microsoft. Microsoft. Bro. Hell nah, man. All right. It's undetected. Yeah, guys. The Microsoft is cooked. So everybody who owns the Microsoft antivirus, guys, you are cooked. It can't even detect this easy malware, man. No, it's just a simple malware which can disable a bunch of stuff. Disable all applications on your system. But no. Microsoft thinks that this is a completely normal. <laughs> what? Trojan Win32, schoolboy. What do you mean by schoolboy? And apparently some some even says that this is a kill master boot record. Bro, there's no master boot record in it. So that's it pretty much from this malware. Yeah, it's pretty boring, not gonna lie. I'm pretty disappointed. And this is my honest opinion, all right? I have nothing against this guy, of course not. But unfortunately, bro, this malware wasn't enough. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, cool. It has some great features, great, great payloads. For example, that, that icon dance is cool. One of very, really cool payload. Unfortunately, it's only one all right there's only one payload so guys yeah if you want to like send me some uh, malware make the malware even longer make the malware more interesting don't just make one payload and send it to me okay make more payloads all right make a daytime payloads or make a uh, timing payloads for example for example after 10 seconds i don't know something else will happen i don't know like make it like longer otherwise it's gonna be boring all right all right guys so let's dig into the source code a bit so this is the cmd function this function was taken from my project i don't have problem with that However, it would be nice if you mentioned me, at least. Alright, um, hmm. this looks bad. So here is the task scheduler. The task scheduler works really simply. Let me explain to you. Basically, you can use task scheduler. If you want to, for example, run your application at the startup, then you can use task scheduler for it. It's much better. It has much to offer. There are plenty of options how you can run the program by task scheduler. So yeah, so definitely use task scheduler. It's a super cool thing. Uh, okay, he used my extract function. I would probably make like, I would probably take all resources and put them into do some sort of array or some shit like two years ago i was also coding like this so i totally understand this guy he's probably a beginner all right 
what is Dport? Dport stands for, I guess, DL import, as you can see. And here is the ma master boot record size. Okay, so that's why some antiviruses mark this as a master boot record killer. However, it doesn't want to or write the master boot record at all. I don't have a time for this. Like, I don't want to spend a lot of hours uh, digging in this source code. Okay, this here's the this is the extract function. This will allow you to extract embedded resources, files, random. All right, this will create like random files on desktop. This is the main class. All right, this is like the first class which will run. My my god bro this looks bad <laughs> So this TL import will return the screen dimensions, I guess. I don't really use this because in the C sharp you already have something like this. But hey, you can use it. That's your choice. This is the last class. Uh, first of all, you could just put everything into the string, or you could just randomly generate characters, which is possible in C sharp. I think that would be it from this video. I've already said my opinion about this malware, and let me know what do you think about this malware. All right, guys. So. I hope you enjoyed this video, if so then please subscribe to my channel, like this video and write a comment. Thank you and goodbye.